Hello, my name is Chris Hammond. I'm the director of training for .NET Nuke Corporation. In this short video, we're going to talk about the recycle bin in .NET Nuke. The recycle bin allows you to recover deleted pages and modules from a .NET Nuke website. And a recycle bin is going to be tied to a specific portal and can be accessed by either the administrator for that portal or a super user on that .NET Nuke installation. So we're going to switch over here to a clean .NET Nuke 5.6.0 professional install but everything in this video applies to both Community Edition, Professional Edition, and the Enterprise Edition of .NET Nuke. Now, in a previous video, we went through and we created a couple of test pages or sample pages. Here we have a page one with two child pages, and one of those child pages has a child page of its own. We also have a page here called Test Page, which has a module on it. What we're going to go ahead and demonstrate is we're going to delete this module from the test page. So I'm logged in. I'm in edit mode and I can go to the actions menu for the module and choose delete. Now when you go to delete a module, .NET Nuke is going to prompt you to ensure that you're trying to actually delete the module. If you go ahead and hit OK, the module will be removed from the page. Underneath the admin menu, we can navigate to the recycle bin. Well, the recycle bin is going to store a list of all deleted modules and deleted pages. And you can see we have two separate lists here, the top one for pages and the bottom one for modules. In that list it shows you the page that the module came from and the name of the module. In our case it was on the test page and the name or the title for the module was latest announcements. And you can see there's also an additional module here that was on the home page and had a title called this is the module title. Well, from here we can choose to either recover one of those modules which will place that module back on the page it was removed from or we can delete the module entirely which will remove its record from the database. For now we're going to go ahead and restore the the module that we just deleted. So if I select that module and click the green restore image you can see the module is no longer found in the recycle bin and if we navigate back to the test page the module is now placed on that page again. So in a similar manner we can do the same thing for pages. In the control panel, if we would like to delete the test page, I can choose the delete option here. .NET Nuke is going to prompt me to make sure that I'm con I want to confirm that I want to delete the page. Go ahead and hit OK. And that should remove the page from our navigation. And if we navigate to the recycle bin, we'll see that the page is in the recycle bin, as well as the module that was on that page is also in the recycle bin. So I can go ahead and restore the page in the same manner we did the module. Select the page, choose Restore, and then I would need to go and restore the module itself. If we navigate back, you can see the page has now been restored. Now the navigation of our site has been unorganized at this point, so we would need to go through and reorganize the navigation in order to put test page after page one as it was originally. So we can go ahead and do that from within the control panel and choose to put it after page one click on update page and have that page moved now another thing to keep in mind with the recycle bin is the more content you have in the recycle bin the harder it will be to locate information that you're trying to find so what I recommend is that every once in a while you come to the recycle bin and when you can either empty the recycle bin or select specific pages and modules and delete those from the recycle bin. What that will do is just help you to keep the recycle bin cleaned up in the case that you want to come back and try to actually find something. It'll be easier to find if you haven't kept loads and loads of data or modules that have been deleted over time. Another thing to keep in mind is if you're not the only administrator on a website, don't use the recycle bin as a storage location. Don't delete modules and assume that they will be there in the future. If someone, com someone else comes in and empties the recycle bin, those modules that you've deleted will be removed from the recycle bin. So recycle bin is a, a useful feature within .NET Nuke if you want to try to recover information that you have deleted. For more information about .NET Nuke, I'd encourage you to check out our training page located under the Resources tab on .NET Nuke.com. There you'll find a, a variety of free videos as well as a schedule of our upcoming instructor-led training webinars. And information about our custom on-site and online training options. Again, this was Chris Hammond with .NET New Corporation. Thanks for watching the video.